What's going on YouTube? This is King Karate Chop and we are here to pick up right where we left off in the CWE universe. Thanos debuted last time and he was very destructive and he is here now to demand some competition. Yep, he is here to demand competition and not only that, after destroying Venom at SummerSlam, now he is here. He has demanded a competition, and competitors did not want to come out. And the next competitor that was chosen against his will and does not want to be here. Does not want to be here. Who does not want to be here? And thinking of that question, who would want to be in the ring at the same time as Thanos? SpongeBob SquarePants! Well, it, you can tell the, you can see the fear that is in his eyes right now. He does not want to be a part of this match with Thanos. Yeah, he's he's looking like his normal "I'm ready, I'm ready" self, but deep down inside, this is it, guys. Uh, he's got to be terrified. And we are getting that match started right now. So not only did Thanos request a match, he requested a last man standing match. He wants to destroy opponents. He wants to force them to be able to not get back up. Last man standing matches are man, last man standing. I don't think really anybody has a chance, especially SpongeBob. The only thing SpongeBob could do if he was smart is just lay down and get out of his way. Oh! He tried a kick, but. Man, Thanos just sir, um, he he just established dominance here. You gotta oh, SpongeBob actually sends him out. Does he actually have uh -oh. any okay. bit of a chance? This would be the upset of a lifetime here. Oh, no. I think uh, Thanos is playing a little bit of possum here. He, I think Thanos wanted to get him outside the ring so that he could use those still steps. You got to think, there's no way that SpongeBob really stands a chance. Thanos had to been giving him a false sense of security. SpongeBob just tries to fight back, but his strength just does not compare to Thanos. Going to the steps again. Oh! His face is taking a pounding here. Yeah, he might not even get to the back, back into the ring. We're halfway there. Can he make it? As Byron was saying, Armageddon Rules was undoubtedly a precursor to today's last man standing match. The He's actually going to try it. Was the referee began his 10 count. He's actually going to yeah. try it. Is he if, I was, if I was SpongeBob, I would have just roll, rolled rolled underneath the ring and just and, and just laid there, hiding. I would too. I would have to run screaming from this guy. Look at the way he just tosses him. Just clobbering him, punch after punch. SpongeBob's getting the dangerous territory here. He may get thrown off the stage. He is. Oh, look at that. Such force. We are halfway there again. Stay down, SpongeBob. Part of the longest running weekly episodic television show in history. Uh, he, he's actually... He's about as dumb as Patrick. I would think so. You can tell Thanos here is just showing mercy by just getting him... getting SpongeBob to stay down. Yeah, SpongeBob needs to take advantage of that. I mean, how often is Thanos going to show mercy in this CW universe? We're seeing two outside. Is he actually thinking about getting up again? But only one can walk out victorious. Who will it be? A striking blow. See, he can get a blow in here and there, but Thanos just counters with his own destruction. And Thanos is really enjoying using the ring. The uh, the ring, 
the post, the steel steps, anything that really caused maximum pain secret, on SpongeBob. Yeah, he pretty much even slammed him on the no ramp, too. Dictate, you must decimate your opponent so much that they cannot answer the count of ten. SpongeBob is crazy. He is actually trying to get back up. What does he expect to do? And again with the face right off the side of the ring. The hardest part of the ring. Each of these competitors okay. is looking for the slightest. Let's see of if SpongeBob the has the ability to get up. He's got three more counts. And this match is going to continue. He's actually going to try it. Okay. Okay. I think this might be another attempt to lure him outside. Oh. And a massive head strike. Oh, what a headbutt. One of these guys is going to walk away with the win here tonight. I just can't imagine one of them also accepting defeat. There's no way SpongeBob keeps on getting up and up and up again and again. You know, this could be a way for Thanos just to keep SpongeBob in the match a little bit longer. You think he's trying to send a message here or just... Look just, at the smile on his face every time that SpongeBob gets up and he's just happy to be able to force more pain there's no way he actually defeats Thanos here though there's no Another real singles contest chance uh-oh he got sent outside is he gonna run away just run away Spongebob it looked like he was gonna run away there for a second but he's actually crazy enough to get back in this ring episodic television program in history beautiful technique a nice punch there but thanos is just playing games with him every time he gets right back up there may be no escaping this fireman's carry i don't know never say never cole oh oh and the beat goes what's he thinking this is it's over now we know what's he thinking oh Wow. Stay down, oh, SpongeBob. He doesn't get up from that. Just look at the sheer size of Thanos towering over his lifeless body. These guys are giving it absolutely everything they've got. Three more chances. This is a last man standing match. And That's going to do it. Thanos is the last man standing against Spongebob. Thanos really enjoyed just seeing as much pain as he could to, to Spongebob. Luring him outside. Hitting him several times with the steel steps and the ring apron and the, and the ramp. And just allowing Spongebob to get up slowly and just be able to just knock him back down again. You've got to think Spongebob was able to get back up and he got a few punches in here and there. But Thanos was just toying with him the whole time. And that's the kind of sadistic nature that Thanos is. He's sadistic in the fact that he loves seeing the pain. That was complete dominance by Thanos. But now we're going to move on to the next match. It's going to be another qualifier for the inaugural Intergalactic Championship. First up is going to be Flash. Who is he going to take on? None other than... The Green, Green Goblin. Goblin. All right, the Flash versus Green Goblin starts right now, and, and immediately it looks like Green Goblin's going to take this. Who do you think takes this? Yeah, I'm going to go with the Green Goblin here. The Flash is very quick, very very uh, athletic, very able to jump around and move around a lot I just think that Green Goblin's got a little bit more power than the Flash does yeah especially if he releases another one of those grenades but then again the Flash is pretty amazing he can do some awesome things he he showed pretty well in that ladder match yeah he can run and he's awesome yeah 
I, you know what? Sometimes I just think you have something out for the good guys. You are no, I just see the, I just see the truth and what's really wrong with them. I don't, I don't parade around to the bias that you and other false reporters put out. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see who takes this and joins Deadpool in the intergalactic championship match which will be at hell in a cell oh see look at that he could take him down too he's going up to the top oh i thought he was going to do a move he's just going to celebrate the flash is just a poor man's quicksilver quite like this guy Oh! DDT, this could DDT be there, that might be the end. He's going to drag him to the center, going to go ahead and get this over with. Shoulders on the back. And there's a kick Not out yet. Two. Kick out two. It's going to take a little bit more than that from Flash. Now look, he's going to celebrate prematurely. He thought he had it won, and now he's going to pay for it. The Green Goblin is one of the best, most greatest, one of the greatest gifts of all time, okay? He took Spider-Man to his limit, and if it wasn't for uh, Peter being a uh, cheating, he would have won that, won those battles. If he would have not cheated? Yeah, stabbing him with his own equipment? What's wrong with him? Oh, come on. The Green Goblin was the cause that Gwen Stacy died. She had it coming. She had it coming. Yeah, she got in the way. Oh. Okay, whatever you say. I, I got to say, though, I sure do hope the Flash gets some, uh, you know, revenge for that, at least. I'm sure he would be friends with, with Spider-Man if, if given the chance. I don't, I'm not sure if the Flash actually has any real friends to begin with. Oh, well, he's going to kick out and, oh and fight another day to show you that he could be your friend. He's a cool guy, man. He's the most forgotten guy in the Justice League. I don't know. Oh, that's it! And Green Goblin absolutely destroys the Flash because we knew that's what was going to happen. It is now time for the main event. And the Mario Brothers are going to come out here. They requested a little bit of action tonight. And, uh, well, who's going to accept that? You got to say, though, those tag team belts sure do look good around their waist. Yeah. I still can't believe they won against the Sith. I'm still. I, I, guys, despite the title not being on the I think a rematch should be tonight, should be granted to the Sith and pride. And because I don't think Mario Brothers are true deserving of this moment. championship. You don't think it was a fluke that they won? Yes, I do think it's a fluke that they won. They have every ability to win as they did. But let's find out who is going to step up to the plate now. It's going to be the Spider Verse. And, uh, like I said with the Mario Brothers, those belts would look amazing. See what I did there? Amazing around these guys' waist. Yeah, but this is not a championship match. These two guys don't really have a shot at being being in the title t tag team title pitchers. That's because they don't really deserve to be there. I don't know. I think they can make some noise. Did you see that number one contenders match between them and the Avengers? I did. I saw that they lost. <laughs> they they took the Avengers to their limit. I also saw them get pinned. I, I can't really argue with you there, but and we're now the Spider Verse tag team match. is not All out of the, the picture. Tag teams out there hoping to one day make it to the big so here's the Mario Brothers, match and really, in hand. first off, can, can I just say this? this how selfish and how arrogant done. that Mario is. He calls them, he calls the brothers, the Mario Brothers. Really, the Mario Brothers? That's that's the thing you're going to name it? 
after yourself? What about the Luigi brothers? Why not just be called the Brotherhood? Huh? Look how self-absorbed and obnoxious Mario is. Always, always disregarding his brother. When his brother is really the biggest, the most athletic, and by far the most handsome. This is kind of funny with how often you were slamming Luigi the past few episodes. I mean, I, I think you're actually um, going to like him. And when you're slamming the Mario Brothers like this, you have to support the other team, right? You, you actually support my favorite superhero, Spider-Man, right now. I am not supporting anything to do with a bunch of bugs. That's what they are, is bugs in this whole entire universe. Nothing but irrelevant bugs. I think they're going to prove you wrong. I think no, eventually man, one day they will hold here. those tag team belts above their heads. Does he try to get back on the offensive Only himself, if the Sith allow it. Well, like the Sith allowed the Lamaria brothers to join them. I'm sorry, not the Mario brothers. So the Luigi brothers. Oh, the Luigi brothers. So which one do you like more now, Mario or Luigi? You know what? Mario is so self-absorbed. Luigi just can't help it. There's no... I don't blame Mario from Luigi having uh, self-identity issues with the way that his brother treats him. Uh-oh. Oh! He's gone up to the top, but Spider-Man said, no, sir. Luigi's never gotten the girl. He's never gotten the princess. He's never gotten the praise. He's never gotten the video game. It is time for Luigi to see the inerrancy in his brother, to see the fact what his brother really is, which is a selfish, which is arrogant, and really needs to be disposed of. And he's heading back in. Oh no, we know what this is. He's looking at it. He's gonna go for a submission. Does Luigi tap here? No, not yet. Nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Call me surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. You have to say, wow. <laughs> you have to say that the the Spider Verse should at least be in the title conversation if they pin the champions. No matter how much you dislike them. Let's see if they can actually pin somebody. So far, all they've done is lost. I guess we'll just have to settle in and enjoy the action. What a stomp! Good grief! What a stomp! Good grief! You remember they lost in the tight in the original title for the right for the now. inaugural hey, tag team event. Special. They lost to the Sith, and now they right went now. and lost what to the Avengers. How many times are we going to keep on giving these guys chances just to lose? They must find a way back. They to are going to have to step up and and Something win when they're needed to. Create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability It just has to, to be saying something if they beat the He's champions here. Which, here as a reminder, this is oh, not a knee. tag team championship match. No, but there there are several people more in line than the Spider-Verse here. You gotta think the Avengers have the number one contenders. You still have the Sith that have their their automatic rematch clause that they can invoke at any time. So they have some space to here he goes. I'm actually kind of surprised they're not doing that right now. But knowing them, they'll just they'll just take the titles back when they want. Yeah, they're waiting for the most opportune time. And really, it's just their it's their titles that they're just letting the Mario brothers, sorry, the Luigi brothers, loan out to them. You know, I can't complain though. You showing a little bit more love towards Luigi. Incredible. One for the pin. Not yet. Not yet. But if the Luigi brothers do lose this match, they'll be more likely to be called the Luigi sisters here to lose into this inferior tag team. Inferior? And Spider-Man has super strength. And super losing capability, too. <laughs> One thing I just noticed, has Miles Morales been in the match at all? No, he has not. And really, neither has Mario. But here is Mar the Miles Morales inexperience. Instead of going right after Luigi, goes up and goes completely and starts to celebrate instead. And allows Luigi to get a little bit of momentum and get healed up a little bit, a little bit more. Oh! He takes the DDT for it. 
The force of that impact should put an end to this match right here. Gonna go for it. Is this it? And the shoulders up in time. No. Nice kick out. It only took about 10 years for that rep to get in the get in the place. He just needed to get around to the right angle so he could see the shoulders. Well, if he was in position for the first time, he would have been able to make the pin call when it had to be running around like chickens had if he had this like a chicken with his head cut off. Perfectly executed. Looks like Miles is going to take charge now. No. He's taking some offense. Luigi's going to fight back. Oh! Mushroom Isn't kick out of nowhere. Ooh, what impact. I will say this about Miles Morales. He has more potential than I think Spider-Man does. He's more athletic. He's a little bit more gifted, but he's completely raw. Completely unexperienced un 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 and, and acts like a rookie most of the time. He's looking at it. Ooh, oh, another mushroom right stomp out of nowhere. That, I do agree with you there. Miles Morales definitely has potential, but he's just not experienced in the ring. His shoulders are down. He gets his shoulder up before three. He just Spider-Man must have come in the ring because uh, Mario is running over there to break up his attempts. So stop that thing. The end may be near, folks. You can't help but wonder how much more of this he can take. Well, Luigi He's has done in this back. match so yeah, far has been very impressive. Right now. Been in the match as long as he has. And really, probably because oh, Mario doesn't want to be in the match. Oh, he missed. The tag. Might have been a good idea to tag there. Ouch. Now we're going to see the, the strength of Here Mario. Oh. I think that agility works in uh, Spider versus Favor too. Well, anybody can run circles around and Mario. His partner looked extremely confident. Well, it's not dire consequences for him here, which is good. But just in case, he might want to think and about try to go after the legs right again so they can not stomp on any mushrooms. Job of the Hutt's more athletic than, than the Mario. He spends too much time eating pizza and letting his brother save the princess while he takes all the credit. Oh, nasty impact. He can end it here. Going for the pin. Nope, kicks out at one. Oh boy, he is rolling. Tag team champions still showing some fight to be in this match. Luigi's look trying to get the out. crowd this could be on their side. GT. Fired up. This one is over. What a stop. Good grief. He has him right where he wants him. Spider-Man looks like he's ready to pull off a... He looks for it once again. Oh, he yes, he got it. it. We made is this it? One, two, Not yet. Wow. Another two count. Another tag kick out. out. Now tagging in Mor Morales. Morales just He's needs to go directly like at Mario. Do not get, let him have a chance to get get healthy. Sweeps the legs from under him. At least he didn't go straight to celebrating, though. So maybe he's learning a little bit. He could do it here. No. Uh -uh. Oh, oh, there he goes. Is that going to cost him here? Not yet, at least. Looking to turn it around. Oh boy, he is rolling. Taking it to one half of the tag team champions. In a major way, too. Wow, I thought he was. Like I said, Miles Morales has got all the potential in the world. He just he acts like a rookie it. and is not able to finish the deal. How many times has he been in close matches? For instance, that Royal Rumble with with Thanos. It looked like he had that match won. And he just coughed it up. You're not going to win many matches absorbing punishment like that. Oh, right to my gut. Irish whip. You got to wonder if oh, Spider-Man sees this and he actually thinks bad of it or like does he forgive the unexperienced like look at this he is outside the ring but looking for the finish I would be getting ready yeah, to attack again this, looks like he's doing that now so maybe he's learning from his mistakes oh, oh. See, that's the thing celebrating waiting way too long to, to, to start your attack and now you've lost momentum and he I think he's just now got opened up I think so out so far here tonight. Still fighting though. 
But the the hesitation is gonna keep costing him if he, he if he keeps it up. Planned. He caught him slipping. Watch this here. Big move coming. What's he doing? What a just continuous. Guys, it's imperative. Like plants back on the the, yeah, that outside like floor. Like, now in full it's control. not going to feel good after so many hours. Morales needs to tag. He needs to tag. He's Spider Man right him. now. Should have looked like Mario is in. in. Oh! oh! It's Mushroom over. Stomp. That's it's it. over. Spider Man, right get there. One, oh! Two, three, Luigi eight, stopped eight, the attempt to break the tag. So once again, Luigi bells out Mario and so takes and saves the day so that Mario can get the credit. The and once again, another loss for the Spider Verse. It may be time for Spider Man to realize what's truly holding him back. And if you ask me, it looks like the inexperience of Miles Morales, as much as I like him. They make it look so effortless. Well, she in could there. say that Miles duo. Morales' teacher, Spider Man, is not capable of taking Miles Morales match. to the next level. Miles Morales may want to look at another coach. How about that guy, Green Goblin? He seems to be winning a lot of matches. He has, and he's uh, qualified for the Intergalactic Championship. We might see that around his waist. Well, that's going to do it for this show. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, give that like button a nice big karate chop. And subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for hanging out, and stay tuned for next time. Sure does look like Mario is in. in. Oh! oh. It's, it's over. over. It's it. over. Spider Man, get there. Oh! Luigi stopped the attempt to break the tag.